everybody. How y'all doing today? You know, he's like the black Brady Bunch, you know? That's pretty cool. 
But you know, I struggle sometimes, man, because like if you hear the way I talk, I'm I'm an Oreo. And if y'all don't know what an Oreo is, an Oreo is a black guy on the outside, but a whole lot of white on the inside. And you know, I don't think it'd really be that bad, you know. They call Bill Cosby America's favorite dad. Well, I figured I'd be America's favorite cookie, so that'd be pretty delicious. Mm. But you know, it's not that bad being black though. But it is hard because when you're Oreo, you're too black for your white friends, and you're too white for your black. So you're like stuck in the middle. I'm a preaching girl, don't worry. <laughs> but no, it, it is hard. I mean, I have a 3.2 GPA. I can't get a ghetto girl in the club. I'd be like, no, shorty. It's your birthday. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Can't get it, man. But, oh, man. It is fun being black, though. There are some perks. I'm going to tell y'all some perks real quick. First perk. You ever been in a recess before? And you want to get picked. You want to get picked for basketball, but you don't know if you're going to get picked. Well, I was like the only black guy in my like, elementary school, and I was like the shortest one at the time. They had people like tall, like girls tall. You know, girls are always taller than you. It's crazy. And they were just like, oh man, pick the black guy, pick the black guy. Like, he's like, we're gonna win. We got three on our team. I'm like, dude, we're not that good. You're black, man. You got this. <laughs> so you always get picked first in basketball. That's a good thing. Second perk, you never have to go tanning. We from Africa, man. Y'all proud of it, man. I'm loving it right now. My McDonald's, I'm loving it. But we never have to tan. We from Africa, we were tanning in the womb, you know? We were tanning up in there, man. We get everything. Never have to tan. That's why y'all always have to keep don't you? I'll tan stuff. I keep laughing like that. But yeah, the third, the third one is kind of, I don't really know if it's a perk or not, you know? It's, it's more so like, when I walk in the grocery store, all eyes are on me, so it's like I'm a superstar. But, it, it, not really though. I, know this a little bit. I'm not really a superstar. When you guys probably walk to Walmart, they're probably like, hey, you know, how you doing? Nice weather outside. Yeah. Yeah. Bread's over at aisle 16. Yeah. When I walk into Walmart, completely different story. Mm. How you doing? Mm. Oh, chicken's over there. Yeah. Fried and ready for you. Watermelon produce aisle right there. Go get it. Yeah. No, oh, no. I know what you're going to ask. Aisle 16. Security, oh, I sent him to the Kool-Aid aisle. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 No. And you know, I don't, I don't like stereotypes against black people. You know, you know how they say black people are all big down here, you know? It's not true at all, you know. It isn't everyone eight inches, you know. But you know, I'm gonna leave with this guy. Here's a riddle. What's big? Black and chases white girls around. <laughs> King Kong, you perverts. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I gotta get Bill Cosby to sweat that.